Hi, today we are going to review the blue bowl technique of concentrate separation. This is where you take your concentrates and separate your gold from, presumably, your black sand. Using just a gold pan, this process is laborious, and the blue bowl facilitates exponentially faster processing, as you will see. You can purchase your blue bowl separately or in a kit. I recommend the former because it will be cheaper and faster unless you have tubing lying around and or a water pump. If you buy the blue bowl alone, usually you will get the bowl and three triangular inserts that fit below it. These position the bowl over a pail, as you will see shortly. If you purchase a kit, you will get the bowl, triangular inserts, a 750 gallons per hour water pump, and tubing to connect the bowl to the pump. Incidentally, you need one inch tubing to fit into the bowl itself if you decide to piecemeal. You absolutely want to make sure with your bowl or kit that you get the three levelers, which the triangular inserts sit on top of as the levelers snap into place on your pail. These levelers make the required leveling of the bowl fairly easy, a task which would become quite arduous without. Beyond what you purchase as a kit, you will also need a power source. Probably easiest is a deep cell battery. I use chrome batteries which I purchase via Amazon. The batteries are well made, of course here in the United States, reasonably priced and reasonable in weight for their amperage. Here we have a 12 volt 10.5 ampere hours example which weighs 6.5 pounds and costs under $25 with shipping. Also you will need a contractor's pail which should measure 11 and 3 quarter inches straight across and a level which spans the length of the blue bowl which is 13 and 1 half inches. I would highly recommend a turkey baster and a snuffer bottle of your choice too. Now let's put the kit all together. First fill the pail with about one half to three quarter water. Place your water pump and connected hosing into the pail of water. The other end of the hosing will attach directly into the blue bowl. Now let's set the bowl on top of the pail. So at this point we put our levelers on and then we put our triangular inserts over the top so that the blue bowl sits on the levelers here. Make sure of course that you're placing everything on level ground. And then uh, we're going to use our, uh, our leveler here. Make sure that everything is exactly as it should be. Uh, of course when you purchase one make sure that it's at least as, as long as the bowl is wide and we can check it from several different angles and you can see it on all, you can see that where it's, it's very level. Again, the, the bowl system has to be level for this to work properly. So at this point, I've dumped some of my concentrates into the bowl here and you can see that uh, size-wise everything is, is very homogeneous. Now what I'm gonna do is take the tur turkey baster and I'm going to push our concentrates off to the side so that everything is around the widest part of the wheel. Okay, so at this point we've put all our materials around the edges of the blue bowl here. What I like to do next is fill the bowl as completely as I can with water. There we go. And we need to redo just a little bit of this. Now we're ready to start the process. The petcock is completely closed which is very high and towards the bowl. And uh, 
the, what you don't want to do is start the blue ball off and have the pickock completely open because there's a some chance that you'll blow some of the gold out. So it needs to be completely closed. That's also one of the reasons why I put so much water in it at the very beginning. I, I believe there's less chance for that to happen. So anyway, let's go ahead and we're going to plug in the cables for our battery here. Negative goes to negative, which is first, of course. And then very slowly we're going to begin to open up. And now it's just a waiting game. Eventually what you want the water to do is come up to about between an eighth and a quarter of the very top height of the bowl itself. So you want that water level to climb slowly. You should already see material migrating around the center of the bowl. And this is a spot where you don't want to get overconfident here. You want to let the water settle in here. And take your time. Don't speed the process up. Don't op open the peacock too fast. We've open, opened up the peacock somewhat and got a nice water flow going. Still need more height here, but things are looking real good. You can see where the gold is starting to stratify out against the black sand and we're starting to get these kind of riffle formations in the bowl itself. So, a quick review. Deposit your concentrate and use the baster to move the material to the outermost portion of the bowl. Turn your water on slowly and monitor. Over a few minutes your material will begin to stratify, the black sands turning into a riffled appearance while the gold mostly stays put. It's important not to deposit too much concentrate at one time. Less is more. Also, your material needs to be all the same size, homogeneous. Use a dollar and fifty tea strainer to filter your materials. This is fundamental to the process. If there is too much size difference between the particles in your concentrate, the water vortex will not migrate much of the material towards the center. So at this point what I want to demonstrate is that if we look at the funnel in our bowl here, you can see where the black sands are traveling up circular wise all the way to the very very top which you can't really see here but flake by flake they drop into the center and then our gold is stationary here all around the outside and some has been drawn into. So what I do to get the gold out in a fairly expedient manner is to take my turkey baster here and blow all of the gold towards the edge of our blue bowl. Just like that. And then we'll come back around like this and concentrate it. And I don't know, this just makes a, a more expedient way I think uh, doing things rather than just using your snuffer bottle all the way around. Just like that, nice and easy. Love to see that gold like that. Okay. And then, get our bottle here and suck it up. Ooh, you can hear it hit the bottle in there, can't you? I love it.
In final, this system works. There are some basic rules though. Strain your concentrate. I recommend a tea strainer. Deposit your material around the outer rim of the bowl and not too much at one time. Ensure your bowl is leveled. Purchasing the three levels will help you do that. And add your water slowly. Extract your gold the way I showed you. Feel free at any time to start the whole process over. Usually I repeat at least twice. I always pan the remains of the pail and usually find a flake or two. Simply extract that with a spoon, usually there'll be black sand included then, and run with your next set of concentrates.